Hello and welcome uh, to all the viewers of News for Travel. I am Nikhil Desai. I am the Managing Director of Goa Tourism Development Corporation. We are participating in uh, ITB Berlin 2015 and we are presenting Goa, a very unique state of India. It is India's smallest state but a state with uh, great uh, history, literature, art, culture, heritage and it is one of India's most unique state because um, while rest of India was under the British rule, Goa was under the Portuguese rule for almost 451 years. The Portuguese as colonial powers were the first to enter the Indian subcontinent in 1510 when Vasco da Gama and Alfonso da Albuquerque came to Goa and they were the last to leave the Indian shores in the year 1961 when Goa was liberated, thus completing over 451 years of Portuguese rule. Under the Portuguese, Goa was a unique blend of Eastern and Western cultures. It was known as the Rome of the East and we have some of the best traditions kept alive to this day. Almost one third of Goa's population are Roman Catholic and we have some of the best Catholic monuments. For example, the uh, Sir Cathedral is the largest Catholic monument in the whole of Asia. We also have Basilica of Bon Jesus, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Monument. We have some of the most loveliest beaches in the world and we also have great uh, hinterland forest areas and the Western Ghats or the Sayadri mountain ranges which have been classified by UNESCO as one of the world's top biodiversity hotspots and also counted among UNESCO World Heritage Monuments in the ecotourism category. We also have plenty of options for adventure tourists, mice, weddings. Uh, Goa is also known as India's food capital. We have also been voted by National Geographic as the sixth best nightlife destination in the world. So that's a great achievement. So we have everything for everybody, the family traveler, the unique uh, soul women traveler, the young at heart. So Goa has got everything and we are also very proud to have a Portuguese legacy to Goa because that is what makes Goa very unique and um, a lot of cultures, traditions can be discovered here in Goa and uh, Goa therefore presents lot of options especially for tourists from all over the world. We receive over five, over half a million tourists every year from over 40 countries and uh, we are looking at uh, uh, especially we, uh, visitors from Portugal. We had a road show two years ago in Lisbon and there have been a lot of uh, Goans who have been settled in Lisbon as well. So I think there's a tremendous potential for the Goa and Portugal to come together and uh, promote each other's cultures through the medium of tourism. There is uh, also some people uh, speaking Portuguese. Yes. Uh, so we, and we have a large community of uh, countries that speak Portuguese. It would be a very good market, yes. uh, especially with Brazil. Yes, um, uh, we have a lot of people who still speak Portuguese. In fact, Portuguese uh, as a language is uh, offered in some schools in Goa as a third language. Uh, we also hosted the Lusophonia Games last year and uh, there were 12 countries who participated in the games, all the Portuguese speaking nations. So Goa has got a very strong legacy and a very good cultural connect with Portugal and I think uh, that is what makes Goa very unique. Uh, uh, as I said, one third of Goa's population follow the Roman Catholic religion. So there is also a religious connect to it as well. But I think one in all, it is one of India's most safest state, one of the most beautiful state. We also uh, have got several products like yoga, Ayurveda, which will uh, definitely appeal to a lot of Western visitors. Thank you. One is always in search of a dreamland. A land where one will be relieved of stress and rejuvenated. Goa a golden land situated on the western coast of India. A paradise of sea, sand and magnificent mountain ranges. A land which boasts of the long-standing tradition of music and dance. A land where east meets west in a perfect spiritual blend. A land ever eager to meet you with welcoming arms.
heritage homes, houseboats and budget hotels to offer you warm hospitality. The vast sea shows glistening in the bright clear sunlight appeal to the youths in you. The sea challenges and sets your spirits free. Yet, the sea is so safe, as safe as being cared for by one's family. Safety is one of the salient features of tourism in Goa. As you frolic on the exotic western beaches, lose yourself to the lush green dense forest in the east. A trek in the forest brings one face to face with the long forgotten treasures of the wild. And if you are lucky enough, you may have a rendezvous with the native inhabitants of the forest. Your journey through the forest will be a memorable one and those moments of solitude in the serene surroundings will be moments that you will treasure for the rest of your life. Surrender yourself to the twists and turns of the roaring flow of the river. Try and test yourself on the rough and tough terrain of the jungle and experience the thrill of adventure. Govan villages have nurtured the timeless traditions of the homeland. The songs on the lips of the villagers still ring melodiously in our ears. You can be a part of the festivals and fairs celebrated in the temples. Ganesh, the Lord of Wisdom, considered to be the supreme deity, arrives in the rains. One is free to find inner peace through one's own beliefs. Goa is a land of flowing rivers. Enjoying the sweet song of the rivers is a wonderful experience while cruising. Experience the excitement of hunting as you wander through the alleys of the very famous flea market. Lose track of time as you indulge in shopping at this fashion haven. Radiant colors are a striking feature at every go and market. Spices, the true identity of India. Understand the making of these spices by visiting spice plantations. The museums symbolize the rich cultural heritage of Goa. The artifacts representing medieval art along with ancient sculptures symbolizing various religions portray the socio-cultural pattern. 
such relics are preserved in many of the museums in Goa. Many ancient Goan houses have preserved this heritage too. Goa is a hub of fun-filled activities which occur throughout the year. Fashion shows and dance performances add to the glitter of these events. Fish is the main ingredient in mouth-watering Goan cuisine. But along with it, connoisseurs of food also relish other non-vegetarian as well as vegetarian local dishes. After a day-long toil, the mind relaxes as the feet dance to the tune of folk song. As the prayers are sung before the cross, accompanied by the music of violins, hymns are chanted in the temples to the rhythms of traditional musical instruments. The study and performance of music, theatre and dance is a regular happening in Goa. The state-owned Color Academy provides an excellent platform for artistic talent. Goan handicrafts have an enduring tradition. Goa's traditional terracotta and brasswork handicrafts are popular all over the world. Marriages are made in heaven stands very true in Goa. What can be more romantic than to begin your married life at a place where the radiance of the sun spreads across the tranquil sea? As night falls, Goa comes alive. Twenty-four-seven. For all 365 days of the year, Goa is vibrant. Goa is a mishmash of colorful shades of life. A land to realize your true self. A land of your dreams.